it's the new year and a lot of us have made those new year's resolutions become the new you and you've seen him on tv and i'm so excited to have him here in in the kitchen with me uh, kathy and kristen from the biggest losers Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You guys look oh, fabulous. Thank you. Happy New Year. You too. Yes, Happy New Year. Well, I, I'm so inspired by you guys um, because you guys lost a ton of weight. How much total? 262 pounds between the two of us. Oh my goodness gracious. That's like, uh, that's a couple of people. Yes, it yeah. is. Yes, it is. And Kristen's got exciting news. Yes, I'm having a baby. She's preggers. Yeah, so uh, it was. it's really exciting for me because it was um, a big motivation factor for going on the show. Um, Nick and I were high school sweethearts and we were ready to start a family, but my weight was in the way of that. So I'm very happy to say that we're expecting our first child. And you look fabulous. You're feeling good. I'm feeling good. You know, battling some fatigue yeah. and which yeah. and as far as exercise that's been difficult but you know I had a doctor's appointment yesterday and you know I'm ready to go and they say the second trimester gets a little better so it, it does and then, <laughs> then, then there's that last one <laughs> yeah. oh, boy. all right let's we're gonna dish uh, uh, all morning long so it's gonna be a ton of fun but first let's start making our dish and um, mom what tell me what we're making here well first of all what I have here is smothered pork chops right away when I saw yeah. this recipe I'm like there's no way this could be healthy love pork chops the other Me white too. meat. Yeah. yeah. It is. People forget about pork, that it's good. It's just as good as chicken breast for you. So what we have are six, about four ounces each pork chops. Okay. Uh, I did trim some of the fat off of these. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we do need to put some oil in our pan. Absolutely. It's and right it's right there. here. And Thank you, you, Amy. Just a teeny bit, a little just dabble, a teeny do you? Bit. Yeah, we don't need a lot. Kathy, you were talking about those spray bottles work really great. Spray bottles work wonderful. You can put your oil in there, olive oil, canola oil, and you can actually um, put it, it's put it right in that spray bottle and then spray it right in the pan. So you can do that instead of buying That's the spray oil. That's a great oil. tip. But what we're going to do is put a little bit of oil in here. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to put our pork chops right in there. We're going to brown them uh, on both sides. We want to do that right away. Um, before the show, I did trim some of the excess fat off of these. There wasn't much. You know what I like about this recipe is the guys the guys love pork chops and, you know, you could bring this to the table, they'd never know. That's the thing. They'd never you know, know. Being a grandma and a mom, it's right. like, I have to find dishes that everybody's going to eat Absolutely. and not even know that I reduce some of the calories. And that's the trick to it. I agree. And what guy doesn't like anything smothered in yeah. mushrooms and onions? <laughs> no. You know? Absolutely. Well, and see, too, John felt this recipe would be good with venison. You know, there's a lot of yeah. different meats that you could use. He's a huge monster. He's like, oh, that was really good. That'd be good with venison. And I'm like, yeah. So, you know, we're, we're going to show you some of the just subtle changes that we made. But um, first, we've got video of the show. How long has it been since you guys have been home? They're oh. both from the Appleton area. And what, is it, what an experience that our, was. Our finale was May um, of 2009. So it's only been about six months or so. But it feels like a lifetime. So it, it's, it's been quite a while. And adjusting to life at home has been really interesting you know because on the show you're exercising six to eight hours a day sometimes your food you know you're eating a lot of organic foods sure. which sometimes in wisconsin it's it's hard to get but oh yeah are, you know they're we're surrounded by cheese curds and broth exactly. here you know? exactly exactly oh, there you are oh my gosh wow wow it doesn't even look like the same person Kristen. you know i, I feel like a completely different person wow wow uh, how about you mom glad to be home glad to be home Glad to be home. It's it's wonderful. Um, my whole family has changed. It's amazing to see over the holidays. So you brought everything you learned and really kind of, yeah. Yeah, and the family. There were so many leftovers on the table. And we all looked at each other and thought, wow, not only have me and Kristen changed, but the whole family has changed. So when yeah. you did like the holiday meal, just little subtle changes? You know, subtle changes. And what was surprising is how the portion sizes changed. Because we are a family who celebrated with food, and so there was this huge spread of food. And this, the, over this holiday, I couldn't believe how much was left over. So, I mean, it, and even the altercations that you make to recipes, making them a little bit healthier, you know. And sometimes, like when you're using a low-fat sour cream or you know just just your lower-fat items, the people can't taste the difference as much. So it, it's been really fun experimenting with food. And just even overall, like the day before Thanksgiving, we did the turkey trot together. So that was a fun new family tradition that we started. Because normally it's just, you know, full of cooking and eating. Right, yeah. right. So add some, add some of that exercise. Yeah. You know, people say, like, when you're at that boot camp, when you're on the ranch, um, at the Biggest Loser, uh, you know, you, you're fourth, like you said, eight hours a day. You come home. How do you get out the door in the morning and get on the treadmill and do that? How do you not, you know, not stop? It is, you know, I think the motivation factor is the most difficult part of it. The mental side of maintaining your New Year's resolutions. And 
I find, like I tell people, what motivates me may not motivate you, and what motivates me today may not motivate me tomorrow. So I realize I'm a person who constantly needs to be motivated, so I try to do things around my house that are trigger, like reminders of what I need to be doing, whether it's little notes on the fridge or something in the bathroom that kind of remembers, okay, Kristen, stay with it, stick on it today, because it's a battle. Do you guys do together? I mean, we, when we, we try, can, yeah. when we can, we do, and when we do, we have the best workouts ever. Mm -hmm. But now she's going to take it a little yeah, easier. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But I think that's the key right now. I mean, because people are raring to go. It's right after the holidays. We're raring to go. Get a buddy, man. You know, my husband is yeah. my buddy. We, we try and yeah. walk in the morning, and he's yeah. like, you know, so if I'm not feeling it, He's like, come on, come on, yeah. and if he's not feeling it, I'm like, come on, come yeah. on, and when you know. one's up, one, you know, the other one's down. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. And another great tip is keeping it mixed up. You yeah. know, yeah. even with your food, keep everything mixed up yep. and experiment. Do You'll find different. that do something yeah. different yeah. and change absolutely. your routine. And so our pork's getting a little bit of brown. It's getting a little bit brown. So we, we don't can take these out. At this point. No, okay. we're going to remove these now that they're brown. And Kristen's going to chop up the onion. Okay. And we're going to add the onion and saute that with the mushrooms. We have three cups of sliced mushrooms here. Do we need any more oil in there? Um, um, maybe we'll add a little this bit of the water. A little bit of yeah, water, okay. We'll put that in there right okay. now. Which is great because it gets all those yeah. wonderful brown bits. Let me get you some water. Okay. You know, it's amazing how nice it is cooking with good knives. Yes. Because my sister <laughs> bought me a new set of knives for Christmas, and I actually have more fun cooking now with better knives. Those are great knives. They yeah. really are. We love those. All right, so a little okay, bit of water. A little bit of water. Kristen's chopping the onions, okay. and we're going to throw these mushrooms in here. A whole bunch of mushrooms, which yep. that makes me happy. We Ooh. have three cups. Looks like a lot right now, but they do cook down. And we're just going to stir this and fry this up for about three minutes. And the cream of mushroom soup, but this isn't the, the kind mom used to use. No, that's the reduced fat, the 98% fat free. And can you tell the difference? You can, I can't tell the difference really? at all. No, you know, you'll never I, tell the difference. I'm one of those people who shy away from it at the grocery store. I always just go to what mom bought. But mm -hmm. I know a lot of these products have come so far. You know, when they first came out, they weren't so Ooh. good, and then they keep getting better and better, you know. Where the flavor is much better, yes. Yeah, exactly. So mu mushroom soup goes in right here. Yep, the mushroom soup will go right in here. At home, you'd maybe saute Oops. the onion and uh, yeah. you we'll could saute it a little like bit more. A little mushroom yeah. in the pan, a little yeah, mushroom a little on the food. counter. That's, That's okay. okay. That's okay. Ooh, that looks good. It's starting to smell really, really good. So, one can of the reduced fat. 98% fat free cream of mushroom soup. Mm -hmm. Now, sour cream, I see here. That will go in last. That, that goes put in it last. Right before we serve it, because this is going to cook. We're going to add a little bit of, we have reduced sodium soy sauce. Okay. We're going to put that in there. I like that in there. A little, I love the flavor yep, and a little color. A little bit of flavor. Here goes and another mushroom. That's okay. <laughs> and then some sage. Oh, I like that yeah. in there, too. That's a great idea. My grandmother used to make. Um, uh, a pork chop recipe very much like this, but not near as healthy. But just basically, we did like three three things different than the full fat, you know, and it makes a huge difference. It is amazing what like just slight changes in your recipes can cut out a lot of calories. Mm -hmm. So now that this is mixed in a little bit, what we're going to do is we add the pork chops back in. Okay. We're going to cook it all together for about 15 minutes with the cover on. Okay. You know, and you want to keep stirring it. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do now. Okay. We'll let you put those pork chops back in. And then the very last thing that goes in is the sour cream. The very last thing will be the sour cream. And you'll add that right before um, you're going to serve it. You're going to mix it in until it's all mixed in well. And you don't want it to get too hot. You know, you're going to mix that in there. And mm. then once that's stirred in very nice and it's makes a nice creamy look to it, you're going to go ahead and serve your pork oh, chops. That looks so good. Now, one ser this makes six servings, believe it or not. You have your six pork chops, about four ounces each. And then it's 240 calories. Wow. Just for this, oh with wow. the smothered mushrooms. And then you can add a baked potato if you like. You can add some brown rice. You can add a nice vegetable. And it's a wonderful meal that you can have, you know, 400 calories or less. Yum. Depending Yum. on what type of side you want to put with it. And I think that's the key to being healthy is this is quick. It's very quick. Because yep. now we're going to cover it. And you can go ahead and put your, you know, bake your potatoes or make your sides. And Love it. The key, I think, is making things that are quick and it tastes good that your family will eat. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. No, no rice cakes. No. You guys don't eat those, do you? No, no, I know no, some no. people yeah. like them. I'm you not know, a big fan. And again, you could use this with any type of meat. You, know, yes. you can make turkey burgers and put it in there like a Salisbury steak. Wow. You can use chicken breast. You I'm, can, I'm sticking with the pork. Yeah. I know I, my husband Bob would love yes. that. Absolutely. We'll